also of the Native American origin, Blackfoot, Cherokee, and Seneca. And I've seen firsthand how, that's just, how this system has destroyed my people. And in, within many, country, many families, uh, people have abandoned each other and separated themselves from each other just to, to survive in this country. For example, my great-grandfather was uh, Seneca Indian. He was very dark-skinned. And at that time, they were not giving Native Americans jobs on the, uh, the railroad up in, in the Northeast. And at that time, you know, at Pullman Porter on the railroad, you were talking in the 19, early 1900s, that was a big job for uh, men of color. And so what he did was he said he basically uh, reclassified himself as black, as colored, as Negro, and began to work on the railroad. He totally abandoned his Native American heritage so that he can get a job and survive. And then you had where my mother's mother, who passed for white, uh, but of, of Cherokee origin. My mother uh, looked Cherokee, and so her mother abandoned her and carried around a photo of her niece and said that that was her daughter because she could pass for white. So there's been a whole history of people being either stripped of their heritage or stripping themselves of their heritage just to survive in this country. And a lot of it has to do not just with racism and imperialism and capitalism, but with patriarchy. Um, and I have a piece dealing with that, too.